Hey guys, Too Legit City here, and today we're going to be doing a Oni Basics tutorial going over the Material Study Terminal and how to get the uh, Applied Sciences research that comes from radiation. This radiation research, the Material Study Terminal, is a new research that is going to be introduced in the Spaced Out DLC. As you guys may have already seen the radiation overlay, things now in the game now produce radiation. Not all things, but some things do now. And with that radiation, we can convert that into rad bolts, which is what the rad bolt generator is for. These rad bolts will be shot and they will move indefinitely in one direction unless you have a reflector. Those rad bolts should be shot into your material study terminal where it stores up to 100 rad bolts and is used for research. Now, a lot of times you guys may be confused or even scared because of how radiation has a little bit of a wide radius. And we're going to talk about the ways for you to generate the radiation and how to actually store that into your material study terminal and even potentially using the uh, rad bolt chamber to store as a battery now of course the uh, beginner sources of radiation you have things like your wee's ward over here as you can see that is our choice we have two planter boxes where we have two wee's wards and the rad bolt generator in the middle Another option for radiation is the shine bugs. Although they are a lot less compared to the wheeze warts, they are an option and are fairly available in the early game. As long as you guys maintain them and make sure they don't get into a weird environment and kill themselves with temperature. But these guys are also a source of radiation. Now the last source of radiation we're going to talk about is the sunlight. During the daytime, as the sun shines, you can see right here, there's a lux value. That sunlight, that ultraviolet rays actually shines and gives you 125 rats per cycle. That's actually pretty good and is enough to get started for the research. Now, radiation in the most part, typically, I like the double wheeze wart method due to the sheer number of radiation we generate. And... Of course, we're going to talk about how radiation works. Now, radiation shines from the source, but there is a lot of things that actually impede the strength of the radiation. Over here, back up space, we could see that in a space vacuum, there is no elements present on this tile. The radiation is at 125 rads per cycle. As we go down where we have oxygen in grams that's leaking out from my base, we could see that the radiation is actually dropped that the closer to the top we are, the higher it is. And the more we move down, the less radiation we actually have. That's because a lot of things actually stop the radiation from shining through all the way, solid tiles, even ladders. And you could see here, even gases impede, but does not stop perfectly the radiation. Now, in some cases, even solid tiles may not be enough. And you really just need to have enough layers or density to completely stop the radiation from shining through. But that being said, having gases nearby or even walls and solid tiles will reduce the amount of radiation you'll be able to generate. Now, that was a very quick overview of radiation. Now we're going to be going over the rad bolt generators. Now, the rad bolt generators, what they do is they shoot a rad bolt as CUC looping around right here. That rad bolt will be what you're looking for and the minimum amount you need to generate is 50 rads now of course you could change that on the slider depending on how much you want to save up the yacht for this is that you need to constantly power your rad bolt generators and if you lose power on it your charge that you generate actually depletes very quickly it's not instantaneous but very very quickly so that means that if you don't have a stable source of power and you're just running off of hamster wheels and a couple of batteries that's not recommended as you might see yourself getting almost close to 50 and then your duplicates may be sleeping and you're out of power and then it drops back to zero in that time span so it's very recommended to have a stable source of power so that you could actually actively continuously generate rad bolts but these little guys right here will produce a lot of heat and consume a lot of power. 
Now let's talk about the reflectors. The reflectors are amazing as the reflectors reflect the rad bolts and change the direction of how it works. As you can see right here, the green with the arrow is actually right here is the rad bolts shooting in that direction. As you can see on this tile and this tile, both of them shoot to this tile. As you can see that this is going to the left and this is a diagonal going to the northwest side. So that both shoots into here and this redirects it into the loop. Now the rad bolts as it's traveling will actually reduce radiation. So we could say something about each tile it transfers, it loses about one rad bolt, meaning that every time you see it moving, it's decaying a little bit. So even though it's looping like this, eventually it's going to stop because it's going to run out of rads. Now it's looping like this because our battery is actually full, max of a thousand. And because we're not needing any more rad bolts here, the reflector is turning on to redirect it. Now, that being said, this bolt of energy that's flying around is actually dangerous. If you happen to be unlucky and the bolts collide, you will have a small radiation explosion with a little bit of the nuclear waste. And if this hits a solid space like the floor right there, again, there'll be a small explosion. And if your dupes are nearby, they will be hurt. Now, a lot of times what you're worried about is just the ambient radiation. Understand that most of the time the duplicates are okay to be around radiation without lead suits. I would say around 600 rads on your duplicate right here. Absorbed rad dosage is about where it's going to be close to become dangerous. Around 600 rads, you'll be able to slowly pee out. And of course, if you eat fish for a little bit more resistance, it will allow your dupes to not actually require lead suits. As you can see in my design, my dupes just wore Atlas suits, and no one's actually gotten the disease from radiation yet in my colony. Now, of course, the uh, loop that we have right here is something I set up as a makeshift setup for my design. For the curious people, it's very simple. The only thing that's on the automation is as shown. How it works is that anytime that we are filled with rad bolts, this is gonna send a green signal to the bottom reflector. This will turn it on, meaning that any new rad bolts that get generated start looping. This also sends a signal to the knot gate that goes into the battery. The battery is actually going to kick on if this turns red, which will send the rad bolt directly to the bottom. This means that the battery will not shoot rad bolts unnecessarily in the loop and will only shoot if this material study terminal requires it. I didn't really talk about this, but you have to hit the target with the rad bolts as well. And it will always get absorbed unless you're shooting it with more rads than it could hold. Meaning that if you're at 90 rads and you shoot a 50 rad bolt, 10 of it's going to get absorbed and 40 of it's going to go past and hit the floor. That may potentially damage the duplicate researching, but it shouldn't actually be a lot of damage. It's actually very negligible. That is the basics for the radiation study. This is the design I happen to use this playthrough. Of course, you could come up with your own design. Understand that if you do choose to use the sunlight at the top of the map, that the rad bolt generators will need to be cooled down. Of course, guys, that is a very quick overview of the material studies terminal and how to do the applied sciences research with the radiation. If you guys have any questions about this, please leave a comment down below and of course hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you guys